want to teach you about the memory palace technique. It works by associating new information, the information that you want to remember, with a location you already know well, like your home. Step one, walk through your house from the front entrance to the back door or the last room. Write down what rooms you entered in what order. In fact, look at this sample plan. You'd start in the living room and then moving clockwise going to bedroom one, the bathroom, bedroom two, the dining room, and then lastly, the kitchen. All right, now you're ready for step two. Now you need to choose five locations per room, moving in a clockwise direction. There are more than five locations in our example, so we're just gonna pick five of those. We're gonna start by entering the room, and then we'll use the furniture in this order, the chair, the TV, chair, chair, couch. Do this in each room of your house in the exact order that you would walk through without doubling back or crossing your own path clockwise. Now number each location. The first chair, one, TV, two, chair three, chair four, couch five. Do the same thing in the rest of the rooms, counting up. So the bedroom would number six through 10, the bathroom would number 11 through 15, the second bedroom would number 16 through 20, the dining room would number 21 through 25, and the kitchen would be 26 through 30. Now step three, memorize the locations that you've chosen. Imagine yourself walking through the house and looking to the right and the left. What do you see? What do you smell? Each location in your house that you've memorized will become a file folder for you to hold new information to remember. So you should be able to say to yourself, what was number two? Ah, the TV. What was number five? The couch, right? Now, step four. Make a list of the information that you want to memorize. Let's use a grocery list for our example, but you could do names, dates, whole lines of information. We're going to match the list of information with the slots of locations that we've created. So in our example, we have bananas, milk, bread, chips, and tea. These will correlate with my locations. So in your mind's eye, the bananas go in chair number one, the milk goes on top of the TV, the bread goes in the next chair, the chips in the next chair, chair four, and then the tea goes on the couch, my location number five, okay? Now step five, if you can associate any funny images with the objects you're trying to remember on that place of furniture, that'll make it easier. So as you walk into the room, ah, don't sit on the bananas, chair one. Milk has spilled all over your TV screen and is dripping onto the table. Oh. The chair cushions in the next chair are actually made out of bread slices. <laughs> the last chair has chips scattered all over it like the kids have been in it. And then someone left a glass of tea just sitting right in the middle of the couch. Now, just practice walking through your memory palace in your mind a couple of times, visualizing the associations that you've made with each item in their location. Now you can use this technique over and over again. In fact, the more you practice using your memory palace, the quicker and easier it'll be in the future. If you only have five items to remember, then only use your first room, locations one through five. If you have more information than that to memorize, just expand it into the next location, five in that bedroom. And then if you had more than 10, five in the bathroom. If you have more than 15, five in the second bedroom, right? Just go from room to room in your house in a clockwise manner picking five objects in each room. And that way you'll be able to memorize large numbers of information.